Hello everyone and psh, psh. welcome to Shiny Chats. If this is the first video of mine you've ever seen and you don't know what Shiny Chats is, it is basically a series that I've started on this channel where I just talk about different shiny related things. I've done like top songs of mine, I've done music video reactions, unboxings, like favorite moments, anything I can think of related to Shiny gets put into the Shiny Chats playlist. So if that is something you're interested in, if you're a Shiny fan, consider subscribing. You can check out the rest of the Shiny Chats videos. I'm not sure what we're on. Are we on like 20 now, maybe? There's a good few at least for you to go and check out if you're interested in this glorious of glorious Shiny months. It's almost Shiny day, now's the time. Actually, by the time this video comes out, it might be past Shiny's anniversary. But it should come out hopefully before their fan meet on the weekend. So, are you gonna watch it? Let me know. And today, what I wanted to talk about was the drama that was sort of surrounding their um, fan meet earlier this month. Uh, maybe you've maybe you heard about it. If you're in the shiny sphere, you probably at least heard about it. But maybe you didn't know the whole story. And this isn't gonna be like a super deep dive into everything that happened, but. I thought that I would go through like at least a general kind of cliff notes on what happened because this is something that could genuinely change how some things are done in the K-pop industry because like it worked. Spoilers, it worked. Um, but let's get into the whole story. In this video, I might have actually included a clip of it at the beginning of this video, but I am going to Korea next week. I leave on Monday and today that I'm filming this is Friday and I am going to Korea. I was always planning to go to Korea for Shiny's anniversary. And so I've been very stressed for a very long time, not knowing what their plans were for this anniversary. And then with the drama, I was stressed again. And then tickets went on sale uh, last week, I think, was it last week? Something like that. And I obviously was gonna attempt to get tickets. So I filmed it. Also, I will be including the clip of that at the end. Before you get there, let me know if you think I got tickets or not, because that's fun. Again, I included a clip of it so you saw that I cried. But um, let's get into the beginning of the story and we'll get to that point. So first off, if you don't know what a fan meeting is, uh, it is basically like an abridged concert-y type thing. So it's not a full concert where they perform songs for a like a few hours. It is a much more condensed, they perform a couple of songs, but it's a lot more like interacting with each other or with fans by answering questions or playing games or just sort of hanging out. It's a way to like meet the fans without having to commit to like an entire concert. And generally K-pop um, idols or K-pop groups do at least a fan meet for their anniversary every year. Like at least that, if not more throughout the year, but at least for their anniversary, it's a way to like, you know, hang out with your fans on your anniversary. And it's always been a thing. Like for Shiny, this is their 15 year anniversary and they've done a fan meet every year. What in COVID it was online, like it was just like live streamed, and then otherwise it's been in person forever. So it wasn't like there was ever there was never an expectation that they weren't gonna have a fan meet for their anniversary because they always have. So that was sort of the beginning of it. And but we all assumed that they wouldn't be announcing anything about the anniversary until Taemin got back from the military. Because fair enough, they gotta wait until everybody's back. You know, maybe they were taking promotional photos or something. Whatever, that's fine. Um, but then he came back and they still announced nothing about it, which was a little annoying for me as somebody who was like, I need to know, I would like to know, hello. But they probably didn't announce it because Taemin was having his fan meets. So they wanted to not have people not go to Taemin's because they wanted to go to Shiny's, like fair enough, okay. But then Taemin's ended and they announced their fan meet. I will post a photo of the original um, poster, I guess, here. And people, as soon as this poster was released, people noticed some things that they didn't really like. There was a bit of, there was grumbling. The grumbling was starting because first of all, on this poster, nowhere on here does it say there's going to be a Beyond Live. Um, if you don't know what Beyond Live is, it's the online concert that's happened since COVID where they can like film the concert and you can pay to like watch the live stream of the concert. And normally when they have a Beyond Live, it says very bold, like Beyond Live, so that you know that it's happening. And nowhere on here is it happening. So people, the international fans mostly, were kind of like, uh, hello? Like, I hope you do a Beyond Live. I don't, again, why wouldn't you? It's free money. You could have an unlimited amount of tickets to this 
to this concert or to this fan meet if you sell Beyond Live tickets. Like, I really hope you do a Beyond Live. Hello. And people saw the people who were either had been to Korea or live in Korea noticed that the venue that they picked, the Kintax Hall, they were concerned about that because that looks like this. Uh, it is not a concert venue. It is basically a convention center. So if you have a convention center in your city, imagine having a concert there. Like, it's not built to house good sound or good views. So people were like, uh, okay. Why does it, it, it felt like the venue was rushed, but that makes no sense because you, their anniversary happens on the same day every year. It can't be rushed. Like that doesn't make, but so why would you, but why would you pick this venue as like your venue? when it's, and people were concerned because it's also pretty small. It can hold like 5,000 people, which is not a lot of people. Considering that this is Shiny's first time in public, like with all of them on stage performing for fans in like four years, that's not enough people. And especially because Shiny consistently sells out bigger venues than that. So it was just like, what's happening? Like it, it felt very like, again, very rushed, like last minute. They were like, oops, pick the, the eh, eh. here it is. And so people were annoyed and um but then but then there were some people being like well let's wait for the seating plan to come out because other shiny has performed at this venue before and other people have where they bring in like bleachers to like make it so the, the seating is like you can see better and stuff like that so we're like maybe wait for that and maybe it'll be okay then they released the seating plan and it was this um this is just one floor. There was no balcony. There was no b b bleachers brought in. It was just all one floor, like an assembly. Like when you're in school sitting in an assembly, it's like that. So that means that most people's views would be this or um, nothing because there's also like pillars because it's a convention center. And so you might be behind the pillar, which means that you can't see it at all. Or the people like behind the console table, you're not seeing that at all because everybody's on the same level. So you can't hear, you can't see. That's a problem. So people were pissed. I have never seen a fandom come together as much as the Shaol community came together for this because everybody was mad. Whether they were planning on going to the event in person or watching the Beyond Live, people were pissed. Um, oh, I should also mention in the ticket link for on the S24, in the small print, it before the seating plan came out, it did say that online viewing would be available. So, okay, but then people noticed that as soon as the seating plan was released, that little sentence was taken off of the ticketing website. Probably because they were like, like with all of us, why would I pay $100 to go to an event that I can't see or hear at when I could stay home and split a Beyond Live with all my friends and we could watch and see just fine, you know? So people were like, oh, okay, so this is how it is. So people were pissed. Um, and th again, they came together, Korean shawls, international shawls, everybody was together. Uh, the Korean shawls, I would say, did a lot not like all of the work, but I'd say they did a majority of like the the active like work just because they're like there. Um, they ended up renting trucks with LED um, screens with their stating their demands and parking them in front of SM Entertainment, like the building. Uh, this was the initial poster that they were like ever to share to make it easier to say like what our demands are. The initial demands were we demand like a reasonable explanation for the venue uh, or a change in venue. Um, you know, because like this doesn't make any sense of why you pick why you picked this really crappy venue that people might not be able to see in. Like that's so ridiculous. Um, and we demand that SM respond themselves, not don't put it on your artist. Like don't have Shiny apologize for you because we know it's not their fault. And if you don't do this, um, we're gonna boycott the event. Like not buy fan meeting tickets, not buy Beyond Live tickets, not buy merch. Like we're boycotting and. It was everywhere. We were trending on Twitter, on the Kwangya app, which is like the fan club app. The entire like lounge for Shiny, it was all that post. It was all that poster. That's it. That's all that you saw. That's all anyone was talking about. There was no way that, cause they were like really being like, we can't have SM like not be like, oh, we didn't see it. Like no, there's no way you didn't see it. It's everywhere. And it like, and then SM did respond. We, people were shocked. I was shocked that SM responded because I was really thinking like, oh, they're just gonna wait until tickets go on sale. Like, they can just, you know, hold out and be like, oops, oopsie poopsie. Because I feel like even with all this boycotting, I do feel like it still probably would have sold out or sold quite a few tickets anyway, just because people are excited, right? And same for me, like I'm going to Korea 
And so it was really hard for me not to buy tickets, like to join the boy, but like I want to, cause I agree, but I, it's hard. And they're, they, they only had one day listed on the 27th. And for me personally, the 27th is also when Boyfriend, my second favorite K-pop group is performing. So I was like, I can't believe I have to pick between the two. And how do I pick? Because I want to see Shiny more than Boyfriend. Cause I love, like I just, this is like why I'm going to Korea at this time. But if their venue is really shitty and I won't be able to see or hear very well anyway, I might as well go to Boyfriend because their venue's a lot smaller. I'll have a much better chance of seeing and hearing things. So it was kind of that where I was annoyed um, about that. But yeah, then SM responded. Uh, here's their initial uh, response. Um, gist of the response was, we had a different venue, um, but it got, because of internal issues, um, it got like canceled. So we have to pick the only other available uh, venue. Put a pin in that, come back to it. Um, due to the artist's schedule and the number of fans that can attend, we picked a place that held 5,000 people. We'll put a pin in that. Um, and the, the seating plan concerns that the fans have, we have as well. So we're still in discussions with the venue to, for the seating plan to like, up, and we'll let you know if anything changes. That was not a good response by SM. It, whatever fire was lit under Shaul's butts was intensified like tenfold after this because people were outraged. Like for the first point, we picked the only other available venue Fans themselves called, I remember seeing tweets specifically about the Jamshil Arena. They called, called up the Jamshil Arena and went, ring, ring, hello. Do you have any availability during like the week of Shiny's anniversary? And guess what? They said yes. So clearly they didn't pick the only other available venue because we just found another available venue. So people were like, well, here you go. We found another venue for you. Um, the second point of duty artist schedule. SM, are you like, people were like, SM, are you not their management company? Do you not have at least some control over their schedule? What the hell do you mean due to their due to the artist schedule? And we know that in the past, Shiny has cleared their schedule for their fan meet. Like we know that this is important to them too. So mm, bad excuse. And due to the number of fans that can attend, we picked a place with 5,000 people. Like, where did you get the number 5,000 from? Did you just like, look, scroll through and see the first 5,000 people and went, ah, that's probably all that'll go. When Chinese consistently sold out more and like bigger arenas than that. Like, huh? Huh? And then the last point with, um, the seating plan might change because like we're, the concerns are, we are valid or whatever. Um, they also mentioned in this that they were gonna have like a screen like behind the console table, like so that those people can just see the screen. But again, why would I go to the event and pay more when I could stay at home? And cause if I'm seeing a screen anyway, and then they were like, and we're gonna put them on like fucking little like cars and drive them around so that everybody can get to see them. But that means that for most of the time, most of the people are not gonna be able to see or hear shiny. Like it, it what? And like, so then people, so that just like doubled down the like, here was the, and then they released the second poster being like, cause this, by this point it was May 1st and tickets were supposed to go on sale on May 2nd. So we're on running on a clock here. We gotta go. At the height of it, there were seven trucks lined up outside of SM Entertainment with the, the new demands, which were we demand the postponement of the ticketing sales. Because if you're, if you are still in talks with the venue about seating, don't sell tickets to an event if you don't know where the seating is. That's unfair to make people pick a seat when it could just change. So postpone ticket sales. We demand a change in venue, um, you know, because it's not, this is not a real venue. This isn't fair. And we found, and at least that's the one tweet I saw. There might've been others, but we found other venues that are available. So change the venue. Um, and people noticed that the company that they're, that like the touring company that they were like with partner with, like might not have had the proper like certification and, but then, and then it looks like, and, or something like that. They didn't have some proper, some sort of proper certification, but they ended up seeming to get it. So we did that as well. We, he, and, and then again, they were like, if you do not meet the demands, then we're by like, I think it was like by like noon or something by the time, by on the second before the tickets go on sale, we're going to boycott it again. And it was like doubling down again. It was everywhere. Again, we tried it on Twitter again. It was everywhere. Like there was no missing this and everybody was on the same page. People were pissed. And guys, it worked. It worked. We did it. 
like it was like 2 p.m before the tickets went on sale we we're supposed to go on sale at like eight or six or something like that it we did it they announced the postponement of ticket sales they announced that they were in talks with another venue and they would let us know once they've once they did that um and yeah it worked like we it worked and then a few days later they released this poster which is the real one now where they did book Jemshil Arena that was available. They opt it from one day to two days and have a clear beyond live on the Sunday. And this venue, even how they they ended up cutting it up, held probably about six or 7,000 each day, but that still doubles the amount of people that could go because there's two days. And for me personally, it couldn't have gone any better for me because now I know that there is more chances of me getting a ticket because there's more tickets for sale. I now don't have to pick between Shiny and Boyfriend because I can just get tickets to the, sh the Sunday show. And it's at a real venue, so I don't care as much where I am because it's a venue that much more likely I will be able to see or hear because it's meant for concerts, you know? It was amazing. I remember the high of like, oh my God, we did it. It was so exciting. And I do think that that is something that now I think that SM is gonna have a lot harder time like screwing over a lot of their artists like that or a lot of like the concerts or and stuff like that because it worked because sm not responding would have looked super bad on them because like it was everywhere like there was no because they can't again they couldn't have just fainted like oh we just didn't see it it was everywhere there's no chance they didn't see it so it would have looked really bad if they hadn't responded or changed anything but now that they have changed something people know that now it does work and they can do it so there there'll be less hesitation to do it again and i think that that should be a thing more fandoms should do that if they if there's stuff that they don't like that happens and it's like a kind of communal like this is for this is shitty for everybody they should you know do it i mean again it i think it only works if it's like super coordinated like it was with this event like it was pretty smooth sailing in terms of that. Like it was very much like, here's the poster, repost the poster, um, like use the hashtags, you know, kind of thing. I There might've been like crowdfunding for the trucks. I didn't actually ever see any of that though. So I'm not sure how that happened, but I know that there were like Twitter space meetings. I don't really know how to use those either where I guess they, they were coordinating like plans. I'm not sure, but people were planning and it worked and we did it. And it was like, that is like, I couldn't have asked for anything better for me and for everybody. Like it's nice that everybody now gets a, pro a much better experience than what they probably would have before, which is very exciting. And Shiny will probably have more fun because now it's a real venue and like that's fun, you know? And like we did it, like of course Shiny themselves didn't really talk about the drama at all, but I, I you couldn't, you can't expect them to talk too. Cause like what would they have to say, right? Like whether or not they were on our side or not, which I imagine that they probably were, but like, I get why they couldn't say anything. And then there was some other drama with Onyu, but uh, and yoga, it's so stupid. I don't even think it needs to get into that. But he, in a, a comment related to that, where somebody was being a poopy poo poo, um, he did mention that the members were like talking to the, like and trying to get it sorted out. So it's clear that they were also involved in the, like with SM, like in the kind of negotiations or whatever, which, it's great. It felt very like togethering, which was very nice. I really liked that. And then, um, and then, so the tickets were going on sale May 16th. Then on May 15th, they announced that they were doing a global package for this event, which is what I was waiting for because I have always wanted to try the SM global package since it came out. I was like, I really want to try one, but I've never had the opportunity to. This is like my chance. And Again, it's for foreigners, so there's probably, there's like at least now that I have two chances to get tickets because there's the original sale, initial sale, and the global package sale, and they're an hour after each other. And I, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna try for both. And then I kind of like the idea, I'll, I'll probably do an entire video on the global package um, once I like, once I do it, once I'm like, I've done, once I'm like there and like done the fan meet and stuff. Um, just have the full story. So if you don't know what a fan meet is, a global package is, I will do a video later on it, but you can look it up yourself if you'd like. It's basically a way for international fans to get tickets. They're really expensive, but like you get some other stuff in there as well, but I'm like, I wanna try it. So now I have two chances. And if I get both tickets to both, I probably will do the global package. Cause part of the global package also is you don't get to pick your seat. Um, it's just a random draw like out of a bag basically, which for me, I was like, I kind of like the mystery of like, I don't know where I'm gonna be. 
Um, the only way, reason I probably wouldn't have done a global package is I was like, well, if I get front row, then maybe I won't do a global package, who knows. But then uh, tickets went on sale on May 16th. And for me, it was about 6 a.m. when they went on sale, like the initial sale. So I did film it. I will include that right away. Um, I guess warning now, uh, I cry and I swear. There's a lot of swearing. Too much for me to censor probably. So um, if you don't like swearing, maybe like skip ahead, like in the little cursor, maybe skip to back when you see me looking like this and not in my like pajamas. Uh, Cause there's a lot of swearing. I swear a lot, like it's like a lot. So let's go and roll to that clip. Let's roll to that footage. <sighs> Tickets go on sale in nine minutes. Holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck. Okay, I have my, my this, I have both of my credit cards, um, and then fucking PayPal, which would which will be easy to use. And then Visa, now I need all these. It's like, I'm only, you know, you can only buy one ticket. Honestly, I really like that people can only buy one ticket just because it makes it more fair for everybody. I mean, it really sucks if you like can't buy a ticket, you know, today. But I mean, I think it's the most fair it could be because then you're not having somebody be like, I'm gonna buy 10 tickets. Mm, and you still have global package after this. You're gonna go, you're gonna click Sunday. You're gonna fucking click any ticket and then you're just gonna go through with it. Sunday and any ticket. So the 28th, 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 and any ticket. Just the 28th and any ticket, that's what you're doing. Just any ticket that you have on the 28th. I'm gonna write the 28th down in case my brain kaputs and I get, and then I fucking lose my mind. So the 28th. Oh boy. Four minutes. I can do it, 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 I can do it. You can do it you've all gotten tickets to other concerts. It's the same as getting tickets to other concerts. And you've done it before. You've got gotten tickets to shiny concerts before. Right, yes, it's never been in Japan or in Korea, and it's never been something like this, but you've it's you've done it before. So you you can do it again. It's so slow. Oh my god. 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 Come on, please. 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 Oh my god. It's like 18,000 people in line. Oh my god. Oh, 16. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, who? That's not looking so good. Oh, well, wait. No, 16. Because there's. for You can buy tickets for both the dates, but there's still like a lot. Okay. 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 I mean, how oh, fuck? Fifteen people, fifteen thousand people online. Oh, okay. And my phone still isn't. Is there? I might as well just click it again because I'm already in line. Twelve thousand. Okay. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Thirteen. Okay. And this one, I'm in. I'm in line. I'm in two thousand seventeen. Six. Six eighty-eight. Okay. 687, 84, okay, 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 I'm 
547. This one's 1462. You're in line. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Don't fail me now. Computer, I know you're old. Don't fail me now. 75 plus. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. God, it's already been two minutes. Jesus. Okay. Oh my God, it's up. <gasps> okay. Okay, 28. 28. God, I just need the seat map to come up. Come on! Why even have lines if they're gonna be like this? Okay. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, um, um. Okay. <gasps> okay. Ah, bitch. Of course they are. God, of course they are. What am I doing? God, of course they are. Of course they are. I'm being too greedy. What am I doing? <gasps> um, okay, I don't have a cell phone in Korea. Okay. Um, yeah, PayPal. Yeah, mm hmm. Yep, that's fine. Pay pay PayPal, can't PayPal fee. Yes. Oh fuck, I have to click them. Jesus. Cancellation fee, agree with the per party. Yes, okay, payment. Um, you've seven, the, yeah, that's great. That's fucking fine. Holy fuck, 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 holy fuck. Yeah, 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 that's great. That's great, life's great. Holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck. did it I did not expect to sob as much as I did in that clip like I really did I mean I thought I was like I'm, I'm sure that I'm gonna be like very like ah but I really sobbed I was oh my god I just like can't believe that I did it I did it I did it I got one I got one I did oh my god and then so I didn't what I didn't film then is global package tickets went on sale the hour after and I ended up also getting a global package ticket those sold out like fucking immediately those are very fast but I ended up getting one so I that oh I'm so so happy because I was a lot less stressed for the global package tickets just because I was like well at least I have a ticket I'm going regardless, but I got the global package ticket after quadruple checking to make sure that I picked the right package that was just for the Sunday show, and not for the Saturday show because like I, I was like I want I need I don't want to like ruin my life and like mix that up but I made sure of the Sunday show okay and then I canceled my Yes 24 ticket. Um, so that I, so that some other fan can get it because I didn't I wasn't ever gonna keep both of them like that's unfair I don't need two tickets um, we're just, somebody else can have that ticket now and then I get to be surprised on where I'm sitting but I I'm going to see shiny by the time this video comes out it'll probably be like the weekend like I'm, I'm hoping this will go up on the Friday and then on the Sunday I'll be seeing shiny oh my god it's a dream come true I wanted to go to their anniversary fan meet in Korea since like 2009 
and really thought that it was never gonna happen. So the fact that it's like, we're here and I'm, I'm it's gonna happen. I'm so happy. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Every time I think about it, I'm just like, I'm so excited. And I get to see Boyfriend the day before and I get to see Death Note the musical the Friday, like today, the day this video is coming out. What could be better? I'm so happy. Like this, it couldn't have worked out better for me. Like I'm just, God, I'm so happy. Mmm, I'm so happy. Life is great. Um, but yeah, I guess that that is all that I have for this. Um, get ready, I will, there will be, I'll try to do, the, I will do the global package video. Um, I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can on my trip. So if you'd like to subscribe to see what I get up to on my trip, that would be lovely. Um, I will also, I, I do also have a separate Instagram just for this trip that I've opened called Diamond Fish Travel. I will leave it in the, a link in the description. If you wanna go follow that to keep like up to date, like day to day with me what I'm doing on my trip, uh, you can do that there. Cause I'll be, I'm gonna try and just fo dump all my photos there periodically because I don't wanna lose my phone or something and then lose all of my memories. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so happy, life is great, uh, but yeah. Uh, stay tuned for more Japan Korea content. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, are you going to the fan meet? Let me know like, in Korea. Or are you going to watch the Beyond Live? Have you um, ever been to Korea to see a concert? Let me know. I think that would be fun. Um, I know Shiny's also going to Madrid, I think, for some sort of festival. Are you going to that? Let me know. That's super exciting. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!